PJ Tucker told you guys all along, this is what he's waiting for. He wants to get paid. He deserves to get paid. And believe it or not, PJ Tucker, this offseason might be the bell of the ball in terms of role players. PJ Tucker now appears to be headed towards a reunion with James Harden and Daryl Morey in Philadelphia. That is not something I had on my bingo card. No, sure. No, sir. Three years, 30 million, which is awesome for Tucker. As I've said multiple times, underrated player, toughness that cannot be bought, probably a top five tough guy goon in the league. And you know what? He's only getting more expensive because his role is only getting more important in today's NBA. I thought when he went to Milwaukee that that might have been one of the biggest, most underrated, versatile moves that a contender could make. And you know what? I think he's even more important now than then. Bucks were supposed to offer him 2-20 and 20, uh, last offseason, and they did not. He ended up signing 2 for 15, seven and a half. So 7 and a half per year with the player option, and he's going to opt out. So he's going to get another 2 and a half per year at least from another team. And we know that Philly wants to get tougher. They even mentioned P.J. Tucker by name. We need to get tough guys like P.J. Tucker. And that was Joel Embiid's little ricochet shot, his little, like, warning shot to management. He's like, we got to get more tough. We need to get guys like P.J. Tucker. Do you know his name? Do you know who I want? Guys just like P.J. You know who's a guy just like P.J.? P.J. Moving on. <laughs> I don't know. He's just a, I, how does he get more than he got on the Rockets five years ago? I don't know. But it, it's just Daryl Morey's giving money out like water to these guys who are old. What am I going to say? I don't know. I don't know what you do with that, but it's interesting.